Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be reviewing the Parkside Sharpening Station. Here's a picture of it right here. I got this from a store called Lidl, L I D L, and I believe this is around $30. Let me show you why I purchased this machine and what I'm going to be using it for. Now, it may or may not be used for its intentional purpose, but let me show you what I have in mind. Let me read just the camera. I'll be right back with you. Here is the sharpening station from Parkside. You can see this size of the box that it's in. This one is thick. On the side it says sharpens blades, drill bits, and chisels. One attachment for knives, scissors, and blades. One attachment for spiral drill bits, 1 8 inch to 3 8 inch. One attachment with magnetic holder for 1 quarter inch to 2 inch chisels. Grinding angle fully adjustable from 15 to 50 degrees. Transparent spark guard. So, let me turn this box around for you. Let's see if I can get that. There we, there we go. I'll put it in. There we go. Here's the top. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open here. Somewhere back here is my knife. So here we go. Right here on top we have the instructions and manual. And right here is the actual machine itself. So let's take this out. Cord here. This is one attachment. Looks like the drill bit attachment. Put that aside. Come back to that. Here is a sharpening wheel. Here is a, a the attachment for scissors and kitchen knives, straight knives. Take the tool out. And right here. It's a nice, not heavy duty plastic, but it's a thick enough plastic to be probably reliable enough for, for what it is. Let's see, uh, on the side says oh, 120 volt. 60HZ 0.55A 6000 RPMs. So, if that's what you need, that's what we have here. <laughs> I don't know. This isn't the best machine out there, but but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. If if it gets you started with something, that will be good. So, this sh should slide off. Yep, slides off easy. We have a sharpening wheel here. And it looks like an attachment for... I don't know what that's for. really don't. But you can change it to another sh disc here. Hmm. Right here on the bottom, it has a safety switch, so it will not turn off and on. Well, it won't turn on, it will stay off, unless one of these attachments are attached. What it does is, when it's down, it pushes down on this pin right here, which will make it accessible, I mean, will make it 
that the uh, machine will turn on. There we go. Easy enough. That's the drill bit sharpening attachment, so let's just take that one off. Okay. How long is this power cord? Looks like it's six feet, but a lot of the other Parkside tools come with a 13 foot cord. I'm pretty sure this isn't 13 feet. This looks like the normal, yes, normal six feet. I'm gonna plug it in right here, right here behind me. Like, okay, like I said, on switch, it does not turn on. I'm gonna put on an attachment. It does turn on. So that's a good safety feature. Very good safety feature. Slide this back off here. Now this whole thing probably weighs two and a half, three pounds at tops. And you can store the accessories on each side. There we go. So that's a pretty handy feature. You can just put these all in one storage container and you'll be good. Let's take these back off. Okay, the knife sharpener attachment. Here we go. Something has rubbed off the bottom here. I don't know what it was supposed to say. It doesn't really matter. But there's only there's two angles for this. This is for the scissors, and these are for the the knives. So this would be angle for the scissors, and this one's for the knives. Which I don't really think is correct because. We'll go this into this a little bit more later, but if you know scissors, they have the flat on one side, and there's only one angle that cuts. So maybe, I haven't read the directions yet, it's going to have to go like this, on this side, and then on this side only. But I'll go over the directions on this and get back with you on that. Now this is the drill bit sharpener. A little bit more complicated than it needs to be probably. But we're going to try it out and give it a shot. See how she works. How's this go on there? It's got to go this way. There we go. I guess it just slides up. There we go. It connects in there. So we're going to go over that and we will go over this chisel sharpening attachment. Now this huh you can see how loose this is and it is not it rocks just a little bit. So I wonder if I, oh, this is for the angle right here. You loosen this up, you can change the angle. Here we go. And it goes from negative 15 to 50 degrees. So whatever you need sharpening for the degrees, there you go. Hmm, not the, most well-built machine, but for the price and for what I plan on using it for, it should be sufficient enough. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, read the directions for each section, come back and show you how to use it. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start out with the drill bit sharpening attachment. Already have it installed. And we have this piece here that comes out has a threaded 
locking screw on here. So what we're going to do is just slide the drill bit in here and just tighten this down. Not tight, but just snug, snug enough where it's tight to slide out. I mean, you can force it, but it won't fall out. So then we're going to pull it back a little bit. You can see the little indentions right here. They fit right here. So we're going to put that in. Then take the drill bit, slide it all the way up. There we go. Now I don't know if you need to, but I found out if you slide it all the way up, tighten this down just a little bit, then turn the drill bit to the right a little until, until it kind of grabs a little bit. Now that will be putting the sharpening edge next to the little piece of metal that's on the side right here. I know it sounds kind of weird, but if you see it in person, you'll understand it. I'm going to push it up and kind of turn it to the right until it's kind of snug, then tighten this up. There we go. Now then you see the same thing, you could put this over here, hold it down. Let me get my safety glasses here. Now if I loaded it right, let's see here. Then you can rock this back and forth. There we go. Hold this down. Then you just take this off, flip it over, put it back in the same slot. Now that side didn't sharpen. Which tells me in the manufacturing process of this, the drill bit wasn't even. This is a very cheap set of drill bits that I have right here. So that doesn't surprise me. But you can look at the edge. There we go. See if I can get a. You can see where it has been sharpened. So, sharpening drill bits does work. Okay. Let's put this aside. Go to the next feature on here. So, I'm going to put you on pause, read the instructions, I'll be right back. Okay, let's go over the chisel sharpening attachment here. You can see on the side and the tightening knob, you can adjust it to different angles. Here is the spark guard. Now, this is really cheesy right here. This rocks, so it shouldn't be that loose. You can see it in here, how, how much it rocks. And here is the magnets to hold the chisel. So what you need to do is place your chisel on the edge of this. Select your your angle. Now since this is so loose, I'm going to have to hold it down with two fingers and just take the chisel and gradually move it down until it is resting on the sharpener. There we go. So let me put my glasses back on here. Hit the on switch. Hold this down and then just slide this back and forth. There we go. Let's check this out, see how it looks. You, 
you can see the part that was sharp and there we go that's a better view of it come back a little bit you can see the part that was sharpened which is up here and it really does not feel sharp at all to be honest with you so well the reason is because the tip this is a very cheap set of chisels I have here so you can see the end of this is almost like a screw um, screwdriver <laughs> so this is going to take a lot of sh passes back and forth to make that sharp but anyway that's the process of sharpening chisels so I'm going to put you on pause again read the directions on sharpening scissors and knives and I'll be right back Okay, here we go on the knife sharpening portion of this. I've already run this knife through a couple times, and I'm going to tell you a little secret about this. This knife has two different angles. This is the flat side, and then this side right here. And then you have your primary cutting edge. So, put on my glasses here. To do this, you'll want to get keep your straight edge right here against this flat part, which is a lot harder than it looks, but it is possible. It does slide very easy. Come on this side, hold it down, see how easy it slides in there. Okay, now this tells me that this sharpener, probably the worst I've ever seen on sharpening knives that like this. So, do not put your good knives on here unless you just mainly want to get rid of a really really bad edge or if you want to take one of these broken off tips and grind it down it's going to be almost impossible let me get a bigger knife here and try this out now the reason the main reason i bought this machine is to take knives like this that has the serrated edge can you see that serrated edge on this side I want to get rid of some of these serrated edges on some of my knives and just have it a flat cutting edge. So I'm hoping that this machine will be able to just take off this serrated edge and then I can take this knife to a much better sharpener and put an edge on it. So basically I'm not using this for what it's intended to use. I'm modifying it for what I want to use it for. So let me give that a shot. I mean, um, I'm going to try going this way with it. Now you'll notice also that it has this little step right here. You'll want to start right here on that step and come across. Let me turn it on. I'm just going to do a little bit of this one. And you'll see that my angle's not right for this one. But it is taking off that little serrated portion of this knife. So, I'll need to 
No, you can't adjust the angle on this. You just got to go with it. And it does put an awful burr on the back. A terrible, terrible burr. So. Hmm. I might have to rethink my idea on this. But in the meantime, let's go with the sharpening the scissors portion. The flat side of your scissors will be resting on this part and I noticed right off the bat that the shape of these scissors I cannot take it all the way to the edge right here it won't fit all the way so that's going to take off about half an inch on this is where it won't get sharpened at all you can see this edge right here but this machine really really hacked up this pair of scissors this is a pair of Singer scissors oh did you hear that crunch I was cutting the burr off the back of here <laughs> so it is a little bit sharper once I cut that burr off with this side of the scissors Oh man. I'm trying to give you a better shot of that, how it jacked it up. I don't, I don't think you can see it very well. Anyway, this little machine right here, if you absolutely have nothing else, absolutely nothing else to use, Go ahead and try this out, but I personally, I don't even know if I'll pull this out of the bag again. I'm very disappointed in it. I'm wondering if I could modify this to do something else besides sharpen knives. I don't know. We'll see. So, would I recommend this Parkside knife sharpening system? For household knives, chisels, scissors, no I would not. I think you'd be better off with those little things you get with a little ceramic stone. Sharp, you'd get a better job with that. Really hacked up this knife right here. Look at that. Can you see that? Look how hacked up that is right now. There we go. That's a better shot. Do you want your knives to look like that? If you do, buy this machine. If you don't, buy something else. Something a little bit more, a little, little bit more better than this. A little more better. Listen to that language. A little bit better than this thing. So, kind of disappointed in this. I'm going to look for my receipt and see if I can take it back to the store. Because out of 1 out of 10, I give it a 0. This is Carl. Appreciate you taking your time being with us today. Appreciate it if you subscribe, hit the thumbs up below, leave a comment.